Hi there, my name is Dan McPherson and I'm a senior technical writer for Red Hat's customer content services. This video is part of a series on Red Hat Satellite 6 and focuses on installing Satellite 6. Just a quick note to follow the prerequisites in the Red Hat Satellite 6 installation guide, especially the firewall rules. So starting with a minimal installation of Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.1, I've registered my system and attached a Satellite 6 subscription using Subscription Manager. So now I enabled the necessary repositories for Satellite 6, which includes Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. Red Hat Software Collections, and finally Red Hat Satellite 6. And after a short period, my system reports back that it enabled the repositories. Now we install Satellite 6 using the command yum install Catello. And the package installation process begins. This usually takes several minutes to install, so we'll check back when this is ready. So our packages are now installed. What I'm going to do is demonstrate two types of installations. The first is a basic installation with no DHCP, DNS, or TFTP services. To do this, simply run the Catello installer configuration script on its own. What the script does is configure Satellite 6 using a set of Puppet modules. The script also shows the progress of the installation and reports back Puppet's last action. The script also produces a log file, which we'll follow for a little bit to show the behind the scenes installation. So let's check back when our installation completes. Our installation is now complete and the configuration script provides our login details. Let's log into the web interface through our browser. Now we have access to Satellite 6. Let's step back to just before running Catello Installer. I'm now going to demonstrate a more advanced installation where the script configures a DHCP, DNS, and TFTP services. Let's run Catello Installer dash dash help to see our additional options for Satellite 6 installation. This shows the various options for your installation. For this example, I'm only concerned about options from Satellite's capsule module. By default, the internal capsule will only install the Puppet Master and Puppet CA services. I want to install DHCP, DNS, and TFDP in addition, so I'll be using their options. First, enter Catello Installer. Next, enter the options for the DHCP server, including enabling it, setting the gateway, the interface to use for the DHCP, setting the name servers for clients to use, I want clients to use the Satellite 6's DNS service, as well as two public DNS servers.
and setting a DHCP range. My laptop is using 192.168.200.1 and the satellite server is using 192.168.200.2. So I'll allocate the rest of the IP addresses from 192.168.200.3 to 192.168.200.254. Next, enter the options for the DNS server, including enabling it, setting our DNS forwarders. I'm going to use Google's public DNS servers. Setting the interface to listen for DNS requests. A reverse zone name the zone name I'll use dance sat six dot net for mine finally enter the TFTP settings including enabling it and setting the server name. I'll use the IP address of the host. I'm ready to continue with my installation, so I press enter. This will take several minutes to install, so let's check back when it completes. Our installation is now complete. The configuration script provides our login details, so let's log into the web interface through our browser. We now have a Satellite 6 installation with DHCP, DNS and TFTP services enabled on the internal capsule. These will be used for provisioning machines in a later video in the series. That concludes this video in the Red Hat Satellite 6 series. Thanks for watching.